Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of JB Outdoors. Today my wife and I are out here at Salmon Creek Campground off of M37 in Baldwin, Michigan. We are finally getting to be able to camp together. We're gonna truck camp together for the very first time. And in turn, I've had to completely redo a lot of our truck camper setup. So I wanted to show everybody that, uh, what's really good for two people, opposed to just me, myself, uh, camping alone on a cot so uh, I'll show you what I got going on here while our food is cooking over here we're cooking over the fire on a little tripod so let's show you my truck camper setup this truck has come a long way since I've gotten it um, basically bought this truck without a cap on it bought the cap off of Facebook marketplace and now I've got it to where we are today so I found this mattress on uh, target.com I believe it's a six inch memory foam mattress queen size this truck bed is six foot eight inches long uh, by around 70 inches wide inside of the wheel wells so what we've had to do here to get us up over the wheel wells we built a platform and that platform uh, I have a couple pictures I'll post here shows a little bit of how I did it um, very very simple design pretty very crude screw together um, used some recycled material that I had laying around and uh, got us to where we are today today I've uh, decided to go with tote system so we have a tote for each thing we have uh, this is what I call like my first aid, aid tote just uh, the amenities things that you need when you're out camping in the middle of nowhere and we've got a uh, kitchen tote that's got all of our dishes and stuff like that in it for for cooking and then we've also got just a all-around camping tote so we have uh, a couple different fans in here um, I've got one on my side she's got one on her side it is around 85 degrees and kind of muggy today so it is what it is but we're gonna make the best of it and try to stay cool with our little fans be able to store a little bit of everything underneath uh, our kayak paddles are actually underneath. We are going kayaking tomorrow in Nuego, so we're going to go from here to Nuego. And then uh, they break down into halves and store underneath. I've got a little bit of fishing tackle, a couple fishing poles for us. Uh, both of our camping chairs stay underneath there. A little bit of room for everything. So, um, as you guys can see, I have a little bit of wire loom showing. And I have this battery box here. This is my third version of the battery box that I have not made a video on yet, but I will uh, eventually. And I'm going to keep refining this. So I have this battery box hooked up right now to a 5 watt solar panel, which is charging it really awesome right now being in direct sun. So I'll be able to turn that on and see it's actually charging at 13 and a half volts somewhere in there, which is awesome. It usually reads around 12 12.9 at a full charge so right now it's charging about half a volt with that being said I have I can unhook that on the front of the box so in the very front of the box I've used these SAE connectors and I have wired an SAE connector on the front of the box The SAE connector is wired direct to the battery, and inside the battery, I've got it wired up over here. I've got these LED lights inside. We've decided to go with a really simple curtain design using Velcro, sticky Velcro on the back side of a blackout curtain fabric that we bought at a local home goods store. So that just sticks here gives us enough room for a little bit of light to come in and then we also have uh, the screens can open or the windows can open up to just screen on this side and that goes all the way to the front and then I've also got these on the back side of here so this would be on the back of the truck looking out also with just the velcro and what's great about the velcro and the and a carpeted cap is it sticks to the carpet in the cap too so doesn't always have to be down so this is with the this folded down and then it also velcros to the outside of the window once that's closed 
But what's neat is with these lights is I can reach up here, turn each one of these lights on, and at night it shines up the whole bed so much light. So if I'm working on the outside of the bed, looking in, uh, just pulled up to a campsite, this lights it up so much. So I've tied all this up, put out all the wires and the connectors in wire loom so it makes it look nice and clean, and then tied everything up. I couldn't find anything else to use, so I took the existing screws out for the window flashing and used a uh, mechanics wire, or tie wire it's called. So that worked out really well. I have four of these lights in here tied all around. So at night this will be great for us and then we can shut each one of them off individually and then when we get get up the next day we can unplug the lights plug in the solar charger and charge the battery back up so we are still learning obviously this is our first time out we're still learning our storage system so we have a couple of these larger totes i have one that i've actually got some wood in um, the tote on the picnic table is all of our food and everything for the entire trip and we have we've had to put everything underneath the mattress so we lifted the mattress up stuck the totes underneath and uh trying to figure out different storage systems so the back of the cab of the truck i've obviously got a four door here so i've had a ton of room but we put all of our sleeping bags and everything, and then obviously our luggage and stuff like that has been in here too. Uh, a little bit of camera equipment and a laptop. Try to keep all that kind of stuff inside of the cab of the truck. So those large totes won't fit in the back of here. But we are trying to figure all that kind of stuff out. So we're trying to figure out how to become more lean. Be able to pull up to any site and just camp. You're set up to camp. So the tripod fits inside of one of these slots here and then the grate itself uh, actually sat underneath the mattress as well. So I'm gonna figure out something for that and continue to keep building. So guys, if you have any questions or any uh, suggestions, actually you can leave them in the comment section down below. Again, I'm Justin with JB Outdoors. Remember to spend more time outdoors and I'll see you guys on the next video.